gosh, today I'm finally going to get rid of these orange turn signals. What I'm going to replace them with is the Moto Gadget MO Blaze. Um, they're a pin, so they're going to be very small uh, LED, but they're going to be very bright. So in order to get access to these turn signals and get them off and, and actually re, uh, rewire the new ones I'm going to put in, I've got to take the whole front of the nacelle off because that's what the wiring is. What I'm going to do is the cross brace on here that holds the driving lights together and keeps them uniform. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove the turn signals, let them droop down here carefully. I'm going to cover my fender. And uh, then I'm going to take these bolts off, two on each side, and carefully let the, uh, the driving lights just dangle for now while I get access to these two bolts. Pull that forward and I'll have uh, the wiring at my disposal. All right, so I'm going to do that. Um, I'll probably show it on camera. I'm not going to talk through it. I'll probably actually hyper hyperlapse it so it just you can see what I'm doing. It's going to be quick because um, this is boring. It's been done a billion times on other YouTube videos. Got the, uh, one of the turn signals off the front. Here's what the connector looks like. I'm replacing it with these. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. Pretty big difference in size. Um, they're gonna look like this actually. This part's gonna be coming towards the road. Very bright. Uh, I've started working on this one already. What I'm gonna do is put this end, um, not this exact one, but one like it on these wires here that way i've got a plug and play um, solution and if i ever want to take them off something happens to them i just don't like them i can go back to stock if i want to so i'm going to go over to the bench and work on this real quick so we're over at the bench here is the left turn signal i've already done the right turn signal got that all working uh, i wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be an absolute failure before i finished making this video and showed you guys how to do it or in that case not to do it all right, so here's the big old Shrek here. So these are the ends that I'll be putting on my new turn signal. Um, let me show you what I've got, and then I'll show you the tools and the parts and everything else. So what I've got is the Mo Blaze um, pin by Moto Gadget. So usually I've seen videos of these on uh, guys are putting them on sport bikes or cafe racers and stuff like that. They're they're pretty cool. Um, they're tiny compared to this so if this was facing the, the front of the bike this is going to be facing the front of the bike like this that's the, the profile so they're quite a bit smaller but they are super bright so anybody that's out there is like you know you're going to be seen well yeah i'm going to be seen these are going to be super bright so don't worry about it uh, a couple things i'm going to do on this one is i kind of like mocked them up earlier and this silver um, hardware looks absolute booty. So we're gonna take that off of here. And what I've done is these are M8 uh, 1.25 bolts. So I found some black ones. If you can focus on those. Yeah, so some found some black ones. I'll leave a link to where I got these in the uh, description. So first thing I'm going to do is slide that over. You'll see why you need to do this sooner rather than later in a, in a little bit. Because, well, I'll just tell you, this end that we're going to put on here, the nut won't go over it, which is unfortunate. So once we get the nut on there, once we get this wired up to be plug and play, um, it's going to take a little doing to to remove the turn signal totally if you ever wanted to. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to try to dress them up a little bit. You see how these have, that's a black kind of a fabric over it. Um, what I'm going to do 
I'm going to replace it with black and red. So it's going to add a little bit of a little pop of color to it. Uh, a friend of mine hooked me onto these. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description also where to get these if you wanted to use them. Um, you can use them for anything from you know wiring turn signals up to you know driving lights anything um, they make different sizes so again I'll put a link out here they have different colors this is the black and red they've got black and green black and black black and silver etc etc so I'm gonna put that over this after I've cut it to length and then I'm going to use some heat shrink and get it all nice and tidy so let me get everything set up and measured out and I'll start doing that so I'm going to use my uh, this grip mat I got, and you may not be able to see on the video, hopefully you can, but it's got an actual ruler built into it. So I'm going to measure this out from here to here to see how long the stock ones are, and it's about 38 centimeters um, from here to the tip of this. So I'm going to give myself about that much, maybe a little bit more because I can always tuck it up under the nacelle. And here goes nothing. I'm going to cut this to length. All right. Next, I'm going to measure out what I want here as well. This a little shorter. So with this stuff, you got to kind of it's almost like a it's almost like a um, Chinese finger trap. So you want to push it together, and it gets fatter. So once you do that, get the end open. And you can start feeding the wire through it. All right, I've got this snaked all the way through, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some heat shrink I've got here, and then just work that all the way up to the end here, and that way it's uh, a little cleaner. This is the turn signal. Here's the heat shrink, and then the, you know, the colored stuff. You don't need to go do this if you don't want to, but I did. And then I've got more heat shrink down here at the end. That just keeps the ends from fraying. So the next thing I'm going to do is I got these brackets. Uh, shout out to Combustion Industries. They make these brackets. These were actually designed for a Scout bobber. They go underneath the seat and um, they bolt up underneath the seat and then you can put the combustion industries um, turn signals right in here they match up perfectly so these are a cool cool add to a scout bobber which i probably will be doing on mine but i'm also going to use these as well for the brackets on the front of my springfield so what you want to do again remember i said once you put that end on you're not going to be able to uh to get this nut over so I'm going to take this nut down carefully over everything and then I'm going to orient my uh, turn signals this way with these brackets up so I'm just going to get this already on the bracket and I'll work with it here And there's a certain way to orient the turn signals once I get them on, because there's actually a little, um, it's a little cutout. You won't be able to see it probably in here, but there is almost like a lens inside this 
glass dome that will take the LED light and project it straight out. So you want to get this lined up with what's going to be the front. So that's where it should be for now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip these wires. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to strip these wires and I'm going to put one of these ends on here because this is what's on the bike now. That's the, um, interestingly enough, this is called the male end, even though it goes in, but the pins themselves are what's male. The female is this end that looks like it would be a male. I don't know. You, you can't, I guess you can't assume gender of any, even the plugs these days. So I'm going to put that end here so I can just use it as plug and play for the wiring harness that's there. So give me a second to get all the parts. I'll show you what I've got and what you need to do to look this. at the orientation of this. This will save you a lot of time and frustration. So, um, let me see if I can focus on this. If you pull this up a little bit, you can see as you're looking at it here, the black wire is on the left side, red wire is on the right hand side. So what we want to do is match that here so we have the polarity correct when we create this plug like on this side. Um, so again, black is on the left. If we're look, looking at it with this orientation, black is on my left, red is on my right. So just keep that in mind. So here's what we're going to need. This is, again, this is the male, no, this is the female end. And it comes with this little boot inside here. So take a little pick and just pull that out. Set that aside because we'll be reusing that. And then we're going to take and strip this wire. Okay, so I've got the wires stripped. I've got a little bit of uh, silver on each end here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these pins. Make sure you got the right um, pins. So these are the female pins. And you can tell because they've got the whole end that the male pin will go into. These are the male pins. Again, I'll leave links in the description of where to find these. So I'm going to carefully break off two of these female pins. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach them to the ends of each of the wires. So on these ends, the very end of it, I don't know if you can see or not, but the very tip of this, you're going to want to crimp this around some of the um, insulation on the red and the black wire. And then, so bare wire goes in here, crimped. I forgot to mention, uh, so I wanted to come back to this. Before you crimp the ends on here, make sure you put that little blue boot back on there because that's going to help waterproof uh, the, uh, the whole thing. So once you get this thing plugged up, then you're going to push this blue right back into the end of it um, like this. Okay, so I've got both ends crimped on. Um, these are the little terminals that are going to go in the plug. And then I'm just going to check make sure that they're on there tight and that they got a good connection. If I touch into a battery, let's see that it is lighting up. So we're going to slide these in. Again, remember, we're going to have the black on the left and the red on the right. So let me go ahead and plug those in. You're going to want to push them in to the end here. Push those into the end until they clip. You're going to go into the bottom the bottom holes there. So a little tip, um, sometimes what I've found is that they don't want to clip in there um, on their own, so they need a little coaxing. So I usually just take a pick like this and get in there and get behind the metal of each piece. Um, so behind, behind the little piece that we crimped and just give it a, a nice push into the plug. And now it's in there secure. I'm going to 
use his needle nose and kind of tuck this blue boot back in here. So that it uh, is all nice and sealed up. And then I'll take it over to the bike and we'll try it out. Alright, so here's the wiring. So there's our new wire that we created. And it plugs right into that. You'll be able to find this once you take this and sell off. You'll be able to chase these wires down and see where they're going in. Um, these turn signals should work for pretty much anything. Um, so I've got them on my spring field. You can, I'm sure, get them working on a bobber, chief, challenger, anything. So, um, all right, let me get the bike put back together again. And then I will show you what the uh, final result is.